Well, good morning. This is the first day of Edwards Defender 90 transformation. So it's mostly interior and audio work that we're going to be doing in here. So we're going to add a double DIN conversion. So we're going to take out that Sony radio there and we're going to put in a Pioneer double DIN with an auxiliary switch panel over to the right hand side there. Edward is into his sound, so he's opted for Ultimate Hi-Fi, so that's uh, the best pack we do as a standard package. So we've got woofers in front of the seat box, new mids, new tweeters, uh, multi-channel amplifier, a subwoofer. It's an absolutely cracking system. We'll show you a bit more of that as we move through the installation. Obviously, we're going to fully soundproof this vehicle, and we really do soundproof them properly. Uh, we're going to replace all the carpet. We're going to replace the interior. So Edward's already given you a glimpse of the interior that's going in. It's pretty funky. We're going to add an Alcantara headlining. We're going to soundproof everything and insulate everything. Uh, we're going to soundproof all of this. We are going to completely trim out the rear end in our custom rubber finish. Um, we have stainless steel finishes here. We're going to add storage system here. We're going to remove the bulkhead. So to do that properly, we're going to take the whole roof off. We're going to strip the vehicle right down to a bone. Um, lots of other little bits and pieces that don't immediately spring to mind. We're going to sort out this. We've already found a few little gremlins here. Um, these are the cave. I guess this has had central locking and electric windows added and the wires have been run through here. So that's not good. Obviously, we'll put a proper factory offset grommet in there so there's no um, wear and tear on those cables over time. Um, we're going to have a heated front screen. Not sure if I mentioned that. This is already on air, so that's pretty cool. Um, so there you go. Day one, the team are just about to get started. Uh, they will tear this thing down and uh, we'll keep some footage as we go. So we're just uh, getting towards the end of day three. And the soundproofing is now done in the doors. So you can see everything's been soundproofed in there and inside the door. And of course, all the back of the door panel. We're fitting a new water shed. These often uh, are damaged, especially when I've had locking or something fitted to them. We've rewired all of this. So you see, we put the proper grommets in, so tidied that up. Soundproofing's going on the floor, on the seat box. The soundproofing is in the back here. Um, the rubber line is in and the two layers underneath there. Oh, it's a cup of tea there, an Alpine cup of tea. Starting the wiring on the double din, starting the wiring on the heated front screen. Um, well, the whole top is off it, as you can see, which we need to do the um, bulkhead removal. Uh, these are the bolts for the bulkhead removal. You can't get to these without taking the top off, so that's why it's important to get all the bolts in. And the trim work, you can see, is starting to come together in the back here, up to the rubber liner. So there you go. Midway update. We'll film a little bit more later on. So here we are a week in, and I thought I'd give you a little update on how we're getting on with the Defender. So as you can see, the roof is back on. That's always a good step. So it shows we're heading in the right direction. Um, and as we said, we removed the roof to do the bulkhead delete, which is now complete. Um, that was a little bit tricky on this. Sometimes they don't fit great. So in fact, on this one, it didn't line up and you would have to distort the body to get it in in existing bolt holes. So we've cut the ends off and completely re-welded those into the correct position. So we set everything up, set the body up, make sure everything's straight and how we want it to be. Um, bolt the brackets up and then spot weld them onto the bulkhead remover bar, take it all back out, weld it up properly, repaint and refinish, and that's why it's all um, covered in masking tape to protect it. You can see all the carpet coming along quite nicely now, the rubber checkers in and the carpet's here. It's all squidgy, that's because we've got two layers of soundproofing behind there. And the soundproofing is being built up now around the gearbox tunnel, etc. So you can see the silver skins behind it. Then you've got the foam. Then we're gonna have another layer of foam and then we're gonna have the carpets. You can see the skins here. You can see the carpets here ready to go in. The cluster's out at the moment. That's because we've rewired the, it had aftermarket central lock-in with a separate fob, but we've rewired it to the factory fob. So yeah, no, it all works from the factory remote. So no need to have two remotes. So we've rewired all of that and removed all of that. Um, tidied everything up, removed all the audio wiring because the alarm was tapped into the uh, wiring set here, so that's all gone. Um, we've cut the aperture for the head unit replacement double DIN auxiliary panel there, and of course we cut these in half. So instead of being a big panel with a big gauge at the bottom, um, we cut it in half, refabricate it so it's nice and small. All the cabling's in for the hi-fi. These are um, connection Sonos cables. So these final cables are nearly 60 quid each. Um, they're very good and very reliable, that's why we use them. You can see the Alcantara headlining is in. Um, it had a front light, it didn't have a rear light, so we've put the wiring in for a rear light. So we're gonna add uh, lighting in the back and all the soundproofing is in the sides here. You can see the dynamat in the back. We use lots of dynamat and lots of skins. I'll show you an example here. So these are the mud side storage panels. So these go where the rear windows would be. So they're gonna sit here and here. Um, 
and you've got some really funky little nets that go on and it creates storage. But, of course, they are quite plasticky. I'm not saying they're not well made, because they are well made, but uh, just by the nature of them, they're quite plasticky. So what we do is completely cover the back of them with Dynamat, um, and that gives it a totally different feel. So now they feel really nice and solid and classy. This also aid, aids um, noise insulation, and even these little back panels. So these go either side in the back. As you can see, we've done exactly the same thing there. So just feels completely different. So it's all these little things that we can do to um, really change the feel of the Defender, really, really make it feel much more solid, um, of course, quieter, warmer. We've rebuilt the doors now, so these are all back on. They've had a three layer soundproofing system. We've got all our stainless fixings and stuff, or brushed alley fixings, so they're all covered up for protection. And we've completed the wiring here, so where the cables used to come through, we've put the proper door tubes in, so they'll be much more resilient. There'll be no cable bending and eventually, uh, failing um so yeah that's where we're at at the moment front ends are coming along nicely we've taken off the old bumper we've fitted the new bumper um, with the laser um triple r 750s in there which have got a position light and a full beam light of course we popped a new number plate on there because we didn't want to put the old scabby one back on the underbonnet soundproofing is done so pretty high standard as you can see so that's where we're at that's a week in for two guys so far. Um, we'll pick it back up again on Monday. And uh, we shouldn't be too far away from completion early this week. Hi folks, welcome back to another short video showing this incredible Defender 90, which we've just completed. This has been a awesome makeover. So essentially it came in as a van, so it's a truck, it's a hard top, and we've done lots and lots of bits to it. Most of the outside is actually as it was, but all of the magic occurs inside. So just to show you a couple of bits we have done outside, we've added the D44 bumper with the R 750 lights, uh, fabulous light. We've added our quick release charging point here. So for trickle charging, you've got your quick release charging point magnetic there. And the rest of the magic is inside. So how about that? That absolutely stunning interior. The RXI seats with the quilted stitching. Full soundproofing. We've gone with the aluminium accents here and here. Full carpet set, stainless finishes. This is actually on air ride, which is pretty cool. We didn't do that, but it's certainly a very nice conversion. We've done the ultimate hi-fi upgrade. With the tweeters there, the mids in the bottom, the five channel amplifier on the other side. We've got the subwoofer for the ultimate upgrade in the storage system up the top here, because there's gonna be a dog in the back and we don't wanna lose any room. Done the double DIN conversion with a piano gloss panel. We've done the custom half cut side panel. Now we're just waiting for a couple of switches because they're out of stock with Land Rover at the moment. We use all genuine switches. So we're waiting for the heated seat switches and the heated front screen switch. So what's interesting here, you can see that we've actually made up the proper connectors and pinned them. So it's all as if it was done from the factory. Not everybody does that. Some people do. But that's just proper. So we've made up the, the looms, everything fused, relayed correctly, got the proper factory connectors. The new switches, the new switches will just plug in and it will be as if it was done from the factory. So that's all very nice. Um, this had had central locking added to it previously. It was a nice job, but the cables were run through, you know, conduit here. So we've put the proper door tubes in. And we've also reconfigured the central locking to work from the factory alarm module so that's something that we can do with um, the earlier TD5 remotes or the later sort of Puma style remotes we can always get the central locking to work from the factory remote not everyone can do that it's a nice touch we've also added the quilted um, lever top there with the grab handle to match see the aluminium exits on there and the lever dash top so it's a really lovely place to be the seats are super comfy the detachable bases as well and heated High rise cubby, dual USB here, something we always do. All of the soundproofing obviously has been done under here, three layers there. And if we come into the back, we can show you what we've done in the interior here. So everything's obviously fully soundproofed, as you'll see from lots of our previous video. We've gone with this high rise storage system, which is really funky. And there's our subwoofer on top there. Not the ultimate position for a subwoofer, but actually it works really well and it keeps everything clear here because Edward has a dog and the dog won't like the subwoofer. So that's also why we've used our custom rubber liner, so it's nice and durable. It's actually soft and squidgy, but very tough. 
We've run that all the way up here. These are mud side panels. So a bit of work in getting them in there with all the extra soundproofing and also around the bracket system here. So we soundproof all the back of these before we put them in. You've got the extra storage here. These are just some of the bits that we'll be giving back to the customer head at the end of the installation. We've done a bulkhead removal in here. Interestingly, the bulkhead removal bar was an awful fit. Um, so we had to cut the ends off and re-weld them in the correct positions. You can't see it, but you'd never know it's been done. And obviously we've trimmed all the fronts of these. We've trimmed everything, as we always do. Got the stainless steel finisher at the back here. Just finishes everything nice and nicely. Got a reverse camera up the top here. So there you go. Oh, we've added the mud interior lights. It didn't have a light in the back, so we often add a rear light. It just, you know, you need the light in the back. So if you're going to do something like this, you'd always put it in. Lovely Alcantara headlining. So there you go. Another look round. A wonderful Defender conversion. We're very pleased with this. Edward's on his way to pick it up today. He'll probably be shooting some video himself, so we'll try and grab those and get them on our YouTube channel so you can see it too. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Obviously, we're endlessly converting these Defenders. We love doing it. We think we do a really good job. Hopefully you do too. If you do, then please subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day.